Hey guys, I'm standing here in the hallway of the apartment here in Nice, France, and I'm, I'm looking at my shoe collection, or like the shoes that I brought to France with me, the running shoes. And I wanted to show you the collection and also talk a little bit about how many pairs of shoes do you really need as a runner. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, so let's have a, have a look at the shoes here. Obviously these are not all my shoes because I'm here in France, I have more shoes back home in Norway. So for example, back in Norway I have some trail shoes, I have some winter shoes with spikes. But now let's take a look at the shoes that I brought to France. It's, you know, dry roads. Let's take a look. So let's start over here at the end actually with these shoes. So these are my retired Clifton 5s. And by the way, I bought all these shoes with my own money. I'm not sponsored, so it's just shoes that I bought. Would be nice to be sponsored though, but I'm not. So, uh, Hookah Clifton 5, very worn out shoes, <laughs> super worn, but that's how it is. You know, I, I run my shoes uh, until they are not good to run in anymore, and then I start walking around in them. So, and I really like these, so I use them for walking. Also hookah, Clifton, uh, but this is Clifton 8, latest model. Uh, so that's just my everyday trainer, road shoe, just a very comfortable. It's, it's the wide, by the way, it's the hookah Clifton wide, which is a little bit wider, obviously, and much better, I think, especially for me with very wide feet. Next up, a pair of Ultra shoes, actually. Ultra, the 1, 2.5. Uh, they are the widest shoe that I've ever run in and it's actually the only shoe that actually truly fits my foot. Uh, I think more shoes be, should be shaped like this. Uh, but even that being said, most ultra shoes are not wide enough for me in the middle here, whereas uh, hookah shoes are actually. So, uh, But these are zero drop and sometimes I just want to go on a little bit of a minimal shoe. Those are nice for that. Here's just my cycling shoes, not interesting. And then I'll jump over here actually and show you these, which is the Hoka Rincon 5, 3. Hoka Rincon 3. Uh, very light shoe, very similar to the Clifton. A um, little bit of a faster shoe, I guess. I'll just use this for like a tempo run or something like that. Whereas the Clifton's were a bit more like the easy runs or long runs, as I said. Uh, nice shoe to have as well. And then my fastest shoe. It's uh, the Hoka um, Carbon X2. So I have the Carbon X1 here, first model. Um, not, it's a little bit worn. You can see the carbon plate in, in there. So it's a carbon plate shoe, very responsive and well cushioned. I like these a lot, uh, but I like these even better, the number two version. Also has a carbon plate in there and cushioning is soft and like super responsive. So it's just like, you just spring away, like it's like having springs on your legs, on your feet, uh, which is cool. So those are my fast shoes for like interval session, tempo runs, that sort of thing. Let's talk about how many shoes you should have as a runner. I have a lot of shoes, but a lot of people have more than me though. I, I do know some runners that are just insane. They have like 100 pairs of shoes and stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary, but I do think it's necessary, at least for someone like me who runs a lot, to actually have quite a few shoes to rotate between. And we'll get into why that is in the, in the next part of the video. All right, let's skip over there and I'm talk I'll talk to you from there. Before we continue, I just want to quickly mention to you that I do offer coaching, as you've heard a thousand times by now if you're a subscriber. If not, I offer coaching online. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Online training plans, uh, customized, uh, WhatsApp support, regular consultations. I have different plans. If you are a runner and you have goals and you want to reach your goals, uh, let me help you and sign up for coaching today. So check out the link in the description. Now back to the original topic, shoes. So now that you've seen my shoe collection, let's, uh, let's talk about the question. How many shoes do you need as a runner? I mean, you know, you could look at this from different angles. Obviously, you could say that, hey, we're born to run. We don't even need shoes. 
And to some extent, that is true. You can run without shoes. You can't go cycling without a bike. You can't play football without a ball. Uh, but you can run without shoes, right? We have feet that are just designed to run. Um, depends on the surface though, and you know, have you done a lot of that before, barefoot running? If not, then probably, you, you know, unless you grew up um, running barefoot everywhere all the time, constantly. If you haven't, you have to adapt to it, etc. Shoes are just a really nice, practical, useful tool. So that's sort of my philosophy on shoes in a nutshell. Now, if you are just running a couple times a week, maybe even three times a week, not really, you know, heavy training, just, just sort of running for fun, running for leisure, for health, whatever the reason is, one pair of shoes is probably going to last you quite a, quite a while. And it's also probably going to be enough. You're probably, it's going to cover, even if you go a little bit off the road and onto the trails a little bit, having a road shoe on the trails, probably no big deal unless you, you know, decide you want to do a lot of trail running. So one pair of shoes, that's fine. That said, if you are a little bit more serious about your training, perhaps, and you have some goals, maybe some performance goals, uh, or you, you want to train a lot, you want to run more than two to three times a week, that's when it becomes a good idea to have more than one pair of shoes. There's really three reasons why you need more than one pair of shoes. And I'm going to go into them now. So the first one is the type of surface you run on. Trails versus road uh, versus winter. Uh, maybe you need spikes if it's ice out. Um, indoor shoes. Typically for a lot of people, it will just be a matter of a road shoe and a trail shoe. So maybe two pairs of shoes. If you have different surfaces to train on, two pairs of shoes would be a good way to start, right? You have a trail shoe and you'll have a, a road shoe. The second reason you might need more than one pair of shoes is the type of running that you'll do. So if you're going out for a long, easy run, maybe you want to have a little bit more cushion. Um, it, it's not as important that the shoe is light because, you know, you're going slow and it's just about accumulating time. And, you know, the weight of the shoe is not crucial. Still want to keep it light, obviously, but not not like ultra light necessarily. On the other hand, if you're going to the track and you're doing an interval session there, or perhaps you're on the road, but you're doing tempo runs or just intervals in general, you probably want to have a little bit of a faster shoe, which usually means a lighter shoe. And it'll also mean probably that the shoe needs to be a little stiffer. Um, maybe there's a carbon plate in there. Uh, and then you might also have another shoe yet, which is for racing purposes, where you just absolutely minimal, uh, you know, lots of responsive cushioning that uh, gives you a lot of energy return. And the third reason why you might want more shoes is actually just to add variation. Because as a runner, you're pounding the pavement or whatever surface you're running on a lot, again and again and again and again. It's, it's a very monotonous sport, right? Compared to something like uh, basketball or, or, or skiing, where there's a lot of variation and a lot of uh, change in movement patterns, whereas running is just very similar the whole time, relentless. Uh, so the more you can add, the more variety you can add into your training, the better, the more it's going to protect you against injury. And so you can do that obviously by, you know, including some hills, some, some terrain up and down on your runs, not just run on the flat. You can, you can uh, change up the pace, the distance, all kinds of things that you can do to change, um, to, to add variety to your training. One of the ways to really easily do it though, is more shoes, because if you run in the same shoe all the time, then you'll, um, it, you know, a, a particular shoe will load your tendons and your muscles and your bones in a particular way. And if you have another shoe, which maybe fits a little bit differently, has a little bit of a different surface, cushioning a little bit different, the, the kinetics, can I say that? I don't know if that's the right word to use, but the kinetics of the shoe, the way it sort of moves or and also maybe the mechanics, maybe that's a better word of how the shoe works in relation to your musculoskeletal system will be a little bit different from shoe to shoe. So if you can have more than one shoe, 
you can offset a little bit of that monotony. So that's really it. So how many shoes do you need? Well, it really depends. You can probably get away with one pair if you're not super serious about it. If you are somewhat serious uh, or if you run a lot, I would recommend having at least two pairs, even if that's two pairs for the road, just to add that variety. Uh, if you have more surfaces, then maybe you're gonna need three pairs, you know, two for the road, one for the trails. The trails uh, are already offering a lot of variety, so you, you don't necessarily need two trail shoes, but you should have two different road shoes if you're running a lot on the road. So that gives us two, three pairs, and then maybe you're even more serious and you want some particular workout shoes or racing shoes. Now we're up to like four or five pairs of shoes. Above that, above like five or six pairs of shoes, you're probably getting into territory of like not necessarily needing those shoes, but it, it can be fun to have different shoes. And I mean, if you can afford it and, and, and stuff, that's fine. Uh, also considering the fact that shoes wear out, so it's nice to buy new shoes before the last shoe is completely worn out. Bottom line, final word, takeaway message. Uh, you should have two pairs of shoes at least. That's, that's my recommendation. Just, just get two pairs of shoes so you can vary it a little bit. That's my recommendation. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out my coaching link in the description. Um, leave a comment. Tell me how many shoes you have in your rotation. And stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.